Welcome to Hunan Province. This episode, I'll show you two beautiful cities, Yueyang and Liuyang. Yueyang is the secondary city in China. It doesn't have the glamours like Beijing and Shanghai, but it does have a rich history like Yueyang Tower and cultural background like Jinshan Island and Dongting Lake. Here is the center of the city. It's a Nanhu public square connect to the Dongting Lake. Yueyang is located in the northeast of Hunan province with Mufu Mountain in the east, Dongting Lake in the west, and Yangtze River in the north. Yueyang covers an area of 15,000 square kilometers and has a population of about 700,000. Being the only river port in Hunan, it is a transportation hub connecting the two major cities, Wuhan and Changsha. Yueyang is an ancient city with a history of over 2,500 years. It is a place where the Xiangjiang River, Dongjing Lake, and Yangtze River meet. This is Junshan Island in the middle of Dongjing Lake. It has more than 10 million years of history. Especially in Tang Dynasty, it became a holy place because in the small island, there were 48 little temples around this island. And now it's become a tourist attraction. A couple things you have to do. First, you're gonna have some fun. I'll tell you later what kind of fun it is. Second, you have to taste that the Junshan tea. They're called silver needle tea. It tastes better. So, let's first thing first, have some fun. This is the fun part starts. Guess what I'm gonna do. You know what it is? Let's go! Junshan Island is a small island on Dongting Lake in the southwest of Yueyang City. There are 36 pavilions and 48 temples on the island. Famous scenic spots on the island include wine favorite pavilions where Emperor Han will fetch wine, the Liu Yi Well described in the history of a love story, and the Xiangfei Clan Temple in memory of the two wives of Emperor In China, drinking tea, you taste the culture. Drinking wine, you enjoy the environment. But in Junshan Island, there's more procedures. For example, they're famous called silver needle tea. You have to drink it, follow the steps. First of all, it's watching step. And when you, especially when you pour the tea into it, actually pour the water into the tea, you have to follow the size of the glass. You cannot pour in the middle of the, you know, the tea. The second, you watch, watch the needle falling down. It's very beautiful. It's like it goes straight down. And then the second step, you smell it. Very good. So you get a fresh, like a, you know, fresh tea smell. It's very strong. Then third step, you taste it. Ooh. It's bitter. <laughs> they said you have to drink it three times. The first cup is bitter, second one better. The third one, you can feel that in your mouth. It's like uh, drinking wine, taste the wine. So there's lots of culture into it, right? You don't cheer, you just taste it, right? <laughs> Hunan province, it has 2,500 years of history. Dongting Lake, Junshan Island, and Dongting Tower, they're all beautiful. So enjoy it. Better give up all the burdens. In a rainy day like this, it's very romantic. <laughs>
Between October and December every year, Yueyang is in a raining season. It will be foggy in the early morning and late afternoon. Junshan Island is full of love stories. One of them said, 4,000 years ago, there's two beautiful girls married to Emperor Shun, and they deeply fall in love with him. When he died, these two girls cried for days. Their teardrop colored the bamboo. Later on, people call the bamboo teardrop bamboo. And this land is when they buried her, and only this land grown this type of bamboo, the teardrop bamboo. Junshan Island was fulfilled with love stories. The Liu Yi Well with the twin pavilions is just one of the long last evidence of love affairs. In Tang Dynasty, a student named Liu Yi failed a state exam. On his way home, Liu Yi met a pretty girl who was the daughter of the Dongqing Lake Dragon. Their love story turned out a cheerless tale since the dragon father refused to accept him. Ouch. One of the famous Dongqing Lake gourmet food. Right now it's preparing from the raw fish. You kill it, you cut it in so different ways. I can watch it, but it's hard to learn. It's very dedicated preparing. And you have to cut it, but you can't cut through. You have to leave the skin on the bottom. So only cut the meat parts. Ooh, look at the meat. After the cut, the meat, they won't lose. They just all cut contact to the skin. Look at that. Yeah, that's good. Can I just watch? Have to help, you know. You have to make them make yourself useful, like me. Okay, 下一步，下一步就走了。那手还这么脏，那怎么办呢 ？Let's go, watch. Come over here, take a look. This is the Hunan style to cook in Hunan. You have to put a lot of spices here. This is the main source: pepper, a lot of pepper, garlic. Very healthy. More pepper, even more pepper. Different color of pepper, different size of garlic. So now you got the secret. Doesn't matter what you cook, you always put the pepper, chili, different kind of pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Really hot. Oh, it's almost done over there. Let's take a look at the fish. Ah, our fish is ready. Very good. This is only one kind. After all this try, so you can tell me what kind of flavor you want. We have all the sauce. I can make the mild spicy or kill you with the pepper. So tell me how spicy you want. It's a real deal. If you come to Junshan Island, you have to taste the whole fish meal, different color, different taste. So it look great. If you're a good fish lover, this is what happened. So what's next? Eat. Located at the west gate of Yueyang City is the well-known Yueyang Tower. It used to be an observation station for the border controllers. Welcome to Yueyang of Hunan Province. Yueyang Tower is a significant building. It's a symbol of the city. It has been listed a must-visiting site throughout Chinese history. It's about 1,800 years ago. It was a military station. Back then, the general would stand on the top of the building, oversee the navy force performing on the Dongqing Lake. Today. It's one of the major tourist attraction in Yueyang. So, come to Yueyang. You have to start with Yueyang Tower. In the year of 210, Lu Su, the general of East Wu State, 
train the Navy force on Dongting Lake and renovate the tower. In the year was 716, the time of Tang Dynasty, an official named Zhang Shu was expanded the tower. Yueyang Tower has had its official name since then. In architectural design, Yueyang Tower have three specialties throughout the Chinese history. One. There's no foundation for the whole tower because it's built on the top of the city protection wall. Two, there's no any little nails, no metal. It's all wood construction. Thirdly, it's a big tower supported only by four large columns, no beams. So the total 21.35 meters high tower, only supported by four columns. It's one of its kind. In China, as a tradition, most significant building decorated by dragon and phoenix. Dragon stands for male power, phoenix stands for female power. Yueyang Tower is one of the example. The dragon always on top of the phoenix. However, in Cixi's time, that's Qing Dynasty, Cixi, the mother of the emperor, the order changed. At that time, the buildings. All change the order. For example, the building next to Yueyang Tower is a pool. Built at that time, Phoenix is on top of the dragon. To being healthy, there is nothing better than participating in some outdoor activities, such as walking the forest or climbing a mountain. The freshness of the atmosphere after a heavy thunderstorm is a sensation. What happens is very uncomplicated. A heavy downpour has restored the natural electrical balance of the air. When we walk through it, that affects our body and balance our system as well. Questions, the answer becomes weapons. Attacking the unaware. In a war, unprotected truth become infected by those who need to know. Well, how truth is mission becomes. If you know kung fu or tai chi and could practice once your balance is there, it's an extra. But remember, safety is always an alert in case of standing too close to the high steep rock.